Specialists have long known that genetics is the primary cause of varicose veins, a condition that affects nearly half of all U.S. women. However, a new and very limited preliminary study out of Northwestern University in Chicago now reveals that a woman's menstrual cycle could also play a role in blood flow through the cephanous vein. Dr. Charlie Hahn, a surgeon with Veins Florida, explains. The main contributor to varicose veins that we concluded with lots of research is the reflux of the cephanous vein. Uh, cephanous vein is usually not the vein that patients see. It's a little bit deeper. It runs from the groin all the way down to the ankle. And there's usually six to seven valves in the vein that control the blood flow. Uh, as we know, the vein drains the blood uh, from the body parts and returns the blood back to the heart. And the gravity works against the vein because the gravity pulls the blood down. And the valves, uh, the control mechanism that control the back bleeding of the blood caused by gravity. And over the years, or for some genetic factor, patients can have weakened valves in their saphenous vein, or the valve subsequently become damaged. Once the reflux set in, that means the valve is leaking blood backwards towards the feet, and then can cause back pressure to the surface veins, which are the varicose veins the patients see. And that's usually cause those uh, varicose veins. Dr. Hahn also tells us that a laser technique is becoming the gold standard for vein treatment. This minimally invasive procedure uses a catheter, which is inserted into the vein and heat is applied. This heat causes the vein to collapse and scar, resulting in the blood rerouting to healthier veins. For more information on this and other vein treatments, and which might be most appropriate for you, you'll find consultation information for Veins Florida in our online specialist directory at yourhometownhealth.com.